Hello there, here's a video on Navigate 2. Someone wanted to see how to use that method in custom NPCs. This is 1.12. This is the latest way of using it. Um, it's always been kind of, uh, I wouldn't say buggy, but it has some issues. So in this NPC right here, here he navigates, uh, it toggles back and forth. So if I click on him once, he'll navigate to here where he is. If I nag if I click on him again, he will navigate to the other place. And 1.4 is seems to be the default speed in 1.12. So we click on him, and he's going to navigate up this hill and into this cave here. So as you see, he, that works pretty well. Um, there are problems with it, though. So if I click on him, see, and I clicked on him again to make him go back again and now he bugged out so he's like stuck click on him again he's going to go forward if I keep doing that a couple times see he gets kind of confused and he doesn't know where he's supposed to be so that's that's one problem with uh, navigate 2 it, it sometimes just just stops and it, it will not restart again see he's really not he didn't finish where he's supposed to be really supposed to be right there so another problem is um, if I if I have a, a boundary or a barrier I should say here um, he doesn't know how to well there is no way to get around it um, at least I don't think so I don't know where that cave goes but uh, there's no way to get around it and if I break the the barrier he will not restart you see so he's he's stuck in here until we click on him again <clears throat> and he will hopefully go down to his original starting position now oh, there's some nice navigation there okay so how you can get around that is in this NPC in this NPC what I do is I've uh, added these positions as an array okay and then I uh, that's a global variable and then I start a timer he navigates to here that's the position uh, this is the same position you could put this into here actually um, and it's very similar to the other one so here is his initial position and here is up in the cave and each one he starts a uh, timer and this variable is passed to the timer down here as you can see and so if he is not standing on all those uh, three coordinates the X Y and Z um, it will restart his navigation too and that timer is set to go off every 40 uh, ticks there so that way he's not going to get stuck if he does meet that criteria of those three coordinates then he will stop as you can see so and I'll just follow him up here and you see he says go every now and then see now he stopped okay and he got stuck there or something like that so okay not sure why that happened but he should have gone back again let's try and just trying to mess with him here a little bit um, but this this does work much better see he's stuck there he goes okay and what also is nice is that if I do create a barrier here and click on him he gets stuck, of course, because he can't navigate around that barrier. But he, you can see the script is still running. He's trying to. So as soon as I make a break in the barrier, he will re research for a navigational path, and he will find his way out. So and then he, once he reaches down there, he stops, and the uh, this the timer uh, is stopped also as you see in the last line of here um, yep, yeah, right there so that's a pretty nice way of getting around the buggy issue of the 
navigate to. Something else that I've used to get an NPC from one place to another uh, is, well, I should say that uh, two things here that I, I did with the with the AI is um, I turned uh, stop on interact to no on both of these guys and I also return to start is also no so however on this guy return to start is yes because that's what I'm manipulating but uh, stop on interact is no that's almost good to put uh, it won't mess up the script so what this guy is doing he is just changing his start whoa I don't know what that's an older error hopefully um, he is just changing his start position so I'm just toggling his start position back and forth so and as you saw I clicked on him there as he was going up there but he finished his path up there um, he was navigated around me I guess he didn't like me being there oh, and see that's that's something about the hitting the uh, using the uh, return, to st return to home I should say uh, method is that he will teleport as you can see if I click on him now he is not going to get stuck behind this uh, barrier for long because he's still trying to return to home and he does he just teleports down there so that's the issue with return to home um, or set home I should say yes yeah set home yes uh, method it, it can work if you give it like a series of, of uh, set to home sometimes that works better he sometimes can um, he will definitely get to where he needs to go with that command <laughs> so these guys navigate to uh, something else you could do is in here you could say once he gets to here he could navigate to a second position or something like that so once this this uh, coordinates are satisfied you could go to another one um, or he could do some sort of other action um, once he's there so that's how you do that um, thanks for watching I think that covers just about everything